Hi guys, it's Katie. So today's video is going to be on this crazy little makeup look right here. This is really bold. Um, <laughs> I probably wouldn't wear this on a regular basis, but I thought it was just kind of fun and colorful. I I've been seeing that blue lipstick is like really in right now, so I kind of just wanted to create a look that would go with a really bold blue lip. So I just kind of came up with this little like bluish smoky eye. Um, it's not too blue so that you don't, you're not like overpowered with blue. So if you want to see how to get this look, then keep watching. Okay, so I've already applied my foundation and concealer and I've also primed my eye. So I'm going to start by taking this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk and I'm applying this all over my lid just to use it kind of as a base for my eyeshadow as well as the inner corner color and I'm also dragging this down into my like tear duct area and I'm just kind of using my finger to pat it down a bit just to blend out those harsh edges. I then took a blending brush to even blend it out a little bit more just so you don't have those lines. Now I'm taking um, this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Fringe and I'm just patting this on top of the white just to give it a shimmery kind of like uh, champagne look I guess. I'm then taking my Morphe 35D palette and I'm using this shimmery cobalt blue color. It's like really bright and I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm starting kind of near the center of my lid and I'm patting it out into the like outer corner area. And then I'm taking a fluffy brush again and I'm just kind of blending that color in. I have a little bit more product on my brush. So I'm just blending that. Now I'm taking um, this shimmery black color in the same Morphe palette and I'm going to just start up the inner, outer corner of my eye and drag that into my crease. And I'm using a fluffy brush just so I can blend out this harsh lines. So you're just really going to want to blend this in. It takes some time. Now I'm taking my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to use this white color that's called Booty Call. And I'm just going to blend this up onto my uh, brow bone just to even blend all those colors together evenly. It just leads into a nice transition. Now I'm taking the Jumbo Eye Pencil again and I'm just lining my waterline with it. I'm sorry, I just realized how disgusting this looks. <laughs> now I'm going back in with that same black trimmery color and I'm just using a thin brush and I'm applying that on my lash line right underneath where the white is. This will really open up your eyes. I'm then going in with a pencil liner and I'm just going over my waterline about halfway. This will create like a doll eye kind of look. I'm then taking a felt tip liner to create some bold wings on my upper lash line. I really like the way these felt tip pens work. They're really easy to create wings with. Um, I believe this is a Sephora brand that I'm using. And then just curling my lashes. And I'm taking my favorite mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. And I don't know, nothing else just compares to this. I really love how long it makes my lashes and it doesn't clump. So that is the finished eye look. Now I'm just doing kind of a basic contour. I'm using the Swamp Queen palette from Tarte. And I'm just using the bronzer and the highlight that came in that palette. Just doing very simple contouring, just you know, the 3B thing with the um, bronzer, and then I'm just taking the highlight in as well. Nothing fancy, just really simple. 
Um, highlighting a little bit on my cheek temple area. And along my nose as well. I also applied a little bit on my cheek as well. So now I'm just going to conceal my lip with a, the concealer stick and I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender just so it's not harsh. I find that concealing my lips will really make this color like show up better. So I'm using this new Maybelline Bold Lipstick in the color Midnight Blue and I'm just applying this to my lip. I would definitely recommend a lip liner if you're using this um, specific lipstick because it is kind of sheer and it is kind of hard to like get the lines right. Um, but that was a tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!